And welcome back yet again, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I tried to get a happier story. I did get happier story for Sayori. However, the ending remained the same. I imagine a great deal many people already know what the ending is. That um, apparently happens no matter what. And uh, I just... I just couldn't bring myself to record that. Um, it's just, it's just too, too sick. Um, if you don't know what that is, search in the rest of YouTube for what happens to Sayori because I'm not saying it. It just it uh, greatly unnerves me, and so. Yeah, do that at your own risk. Anyway. So now I'm... I, from what I've heard through Grapevine... You have to try... For all three... Of them. You can't really... Try for Monica... Not that I want to anyway, because people keep saying just my kid. It kind of just like uh, I I like to go against the crowd anyway. <clears throat> but anyway, you have to, uh, to to try for all three of them first, and then there's this uh, this thing that happens after that. And so now. With a great deal of resignation, being a classic red, white, and blue-blooded Billy son, I'm going to go Natsuki's route, cutesy Natsuki. I can't stand cutesy things because, as I have said, being from Philly, where we just don't do that, but apparently that's going to be required to get this entire thing finished. <sighs> Whatever. I just can't bring myself to say that. It's uh, like all the things that I know about Sayori's character in this. Um, that That's another thing. I had not uh, recorded the entirety of uh, her route because um, it's, uh, it's the same... Uh, at, I, like at the end there, um, I already recorded that before. I'll I'll uh, put uh, in my um, in the description of this video uh, both what happens that like is guaranteed to happen no matter what apparently, and also what my head can ending is for her because I just uh, I just don't like tragic kinds of endings for people. Anyway, um, yeah. Leaving your arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. I can all see you my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making the day, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. And I can't bring myself to say that. <laughs> I overslept again. If I caught you this time, this is another thing, with all due respect 
to Salvato who wrote this, Dan Salvato, um, as well as all the developers of this, I wish that you could like fast forward through everything that you've already uh, gone through before. Because uh, I, I know it's possible to do that in uh, at least uh, a few, or at least one game. Um, but uh, like another game uh, that's like text based like this. But yeah, anyway. I caught you this time. Maybe but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, you see it like you were thinking you would have annoying me. That's me, Bob and Mob. And again, uh, this uh, this name comes from. So might as well explain it every time. When I was in real life in high school, and I uh, I did various kinds of mafiosi impressions. I'd like to. Uh, Marlon Brando has begun of a voice like in The Godfather. And so they start calling me Bob Mob, and I just kept that name ever since. Yeah, I can't bring myself to say that. It just feels too harsh. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean to me if you want to. Whatever you say, Sally. <laughs> Cross the streets together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making the daily commute. By the way, Bob. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I've been looking either. Eh, yeah, that's not true. You told me to join a club this year. Did I? So it's possible I did in one of my many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. See, so he likes to worry a little too much about me while I'm perfectly content just getting by on average while spending my free time on games. I'm not saying this. I don't care how many times it comes up, I'm not saying that because I'm not a weeb. I have nothing against such people. In fact, there are such people who I think are cool, but I'm not no taku myself, okay? So I'm just not saying it. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your position is really important to me, you know. I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. And again, neat, from what I've come to understand, stands for not in education, employment, or training. And so that's where that comes from. And uh, and Doki Doki, from what I've come to understand, is uh, approximately in Japanese, like the, uh, what's the, um, the onomatopoeia of the sound of a heartbeat. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I will get a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you please promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I was surprised I even let myself relent to her. It's seeing the way so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. School days and the ordinary as ever, it's over before I know it. 
After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So he always wants me to check out some clubs. And I'm not saying that, ever. Hello? Say hi. So he must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I don't need to wait for me if it's gonna make you wait for young club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, you could come to my club. So I... Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
thrown at you. Something I've learned the hard way from fighting this. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I'll forever find that amusing. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. Section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! Told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? Glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? We kill the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Paul the Mob. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> Girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. It's also the one that made the cupcakes called Siori. You can alright. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Okay, this time I remembered. I still say though, and will always say that with all due respect to Salvato, he really should have had these kinds of things in parentheses before quotes so that a player doing a playthrough can accurately do these kinds of voices like whispers and that kind of thing. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yori, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yori, who appears confidently more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you're always being on Monica, right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Bob. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we had talked, but we were in the same class last year. Maku is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. And I'm not saying this. I, I, I like to be repeating myself a lot in this playthrough. Because I can't just speed through things. No one should ever say that someone is out of their league. I, I don't like it when people belittle themselves, you know? Like like in, in games, in real life, anything. People should have self-confidence. The two Monica. Come sit down, Bob. I made room for you to tell you so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little excited. But how about I make some tea as well? Girls have a few desks for us to form a table. So they already mentioned it's been widened so that there's one space next to Mike and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yori walk over the corner of the room and Natsuki has a wrapped chain 
He reopens the closet. Still feeling awkward. I didn't take a seat next to Sayori. Atsuki proudly marches back to the table train hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! So much like the Temmies from Undertale. At least that one. Tsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Whiskers is drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate used to make ears. And please, I am begging you, Salfano, do not tell me that the rest of her route is going to be cutesy kinds of things like these. It's bad for me as a man, and more importantly, it's bad for me as a Philly son! So cute! Like I said, like that one Tammy in the Tammy Village in Undertale, but... Whoa! Humans! Such a... Cute! That's probably another thing I'll end up repeating. Actually, from what I've come to understand, no, I'm not going to have any spoilers. Unlike some people, so many having spoilers on YouTube, showing up in people's sidebars when they watch videos, but I'm not bitter about that at all. I'm not bitter about the fact that there's no mysteries, that people can't do blind playthroughs. No, I don't mind that at all. Anyway. I had no idea he was so good at picking that so cute. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So he grabs one first, and Monica, I follow. Delicious. See how it talks with a mouth form is already mad to get very on her face. Turn the cup give it on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. That sippy is quiet. I can't help but notice the sneaking glances in my direction. Just wait for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. This is sweet and full flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this man before? You made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought technically you did. They always said... Well, maybe. But not... You know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. He already returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the tea cup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cup for each tray. Keep a cold tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? And again, about it does indeed, especially when it's horror, and that is why I am so wish that I could just like follow one route and then have everything done with because. Yuri here, she is my kind of lady. Because she states later on in this uh, this part of the game, like in, in this classroom here, about how she digs psychological horror. And also, um, if one uh, helps her Later on in the game, I find out that she has a passion for knives. 
But on top of that, she's got purple hair, which reminds me of the song Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix, the undisputed master of the guitar, as well as, more importantly, an army veteran. And so I salute the heavens when I speak his name. And so I wish that it was possible to, to just pursue just one route and then uh, have like the uh, the whole true end or whatever it's going to be opened up. Oh well. And I don't I don't get intimidated because as I said and as I will f say until the day my immortal soul leaves this mortal shell and my immortal soul will continue to say it I am a classic red white and blue blooded Billy son we don't get intimidated That's not... Salty, yo, he looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Yeah, that's it's not true. I'm glad. Oh, he faintly smiles to herself and leave. Mark erases an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the Lucha Club? Um... Something tells me I shouldn't tell my cat it's practically dragged here by Siori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seems really happy he is, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Yeah, I'll just... Why can't I'm surprised? How come you decide to start your own club? You can probably be a board member of the major clubs. Won't you leave the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing about arguing about the budget, and publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into the literature, then follow through in that dream. Mike really is a great leader. He also does the unit. I'm surprised they don't want people to call yet. Must be hard to start the club. We could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all of the efforts to make something brand new. Especially something, something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we could all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Micah must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all still away by the idea of a new member joining. Oh, it's, that's not true about me. So, Bob Mob, what kinds of things do you like to read? Again, this is why it's going to hurt so much. Having to, uh, to not be able to go her route because she is like me, big time horror fan and everything. Especially psychological horror and especially the undisputed master of heart in literature, Edgar Allan Poe, who also had served in the military. And I still 
say I, I I'm I'm waiting. Hopefully that in the like whatever happens after <clears throat> there's been like all three of them. Hopefully the next time I discuss literature with you here, there will be at least one. I reference to Poe. At, uh, at least some point in this game. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm not saying that because that's a weeb thing too. So he said something personal. That's why she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Yeah, yeah. This is not true of me. Anyway, what about you, Yoi? Well, let's see. Yoi traces the room with a teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yoi goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way, way but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up, she finds the comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how Reddy can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you through a loop? Especially since I'm going to be having to to run the route of someone who's all about cutesy kinds of things. Had I but known that all three had to be gone through all three, all three routes had to be gone through from the start. I would have done that at the beginning and just gotten over it. Oh well. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. It's been far more than once. And blah, blah, blah. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yori. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, I really can't put it down. That's so, so true. Best guy. Often the very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. And this is why it's going to hurt so much having to do her route. Ah, I hate her. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Suki's eyes thought over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. This here, just... Uh, why? W what? What gives you that idea? I left a piece of scrap paper of high in the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And get that back! Fine, fine. Hey, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything about it. You was just as cute as you are. So he sighs up on the Suki and puts it in his own shoulders. I'm not cute! Now, Suki, you write your own poems? Yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why do you say them sometimes? No! Suki so first eyes. You wouldn't. Like them. Uh, not very confident, ready yet? 
I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yori. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? That's looking your old quiz queen, Mike. Let's all go home and read a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, plus now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of this club. Isn't that right, Bob and Bob? Aki smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Oh, back to the original. The problem can we join the call by the point we come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So the only man may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Still have other clubs to look at and um I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. <coughs> but, but I'm sorry, I thought <laughs> I, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. I'm not supposed to make a clear head decision where it's like this. Uh, again, I don't consider that to be a price to pay. I write poems for fun in my spare time sometimes. Right. Okay, I'll decide then. I'll join the laser club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! <coughs> so they all wrap their arms around me, jump up and down. <laughs> hey! It really did scare me for a moment. If Billy just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. That makes it official. Welcome to the Lurcher Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially then is being on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next being so we can all share. Michael looks over at me once more. Bob and Bob, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say that. I hate it when people are like this. Like being so hard on themselves. You got to have self confidence. And I'm not saying that. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat and Yori and that's the clean of the food. Hey, Bob, since before we here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori so and I never walk home together anymore because he does always stay as a school for clubs. So I might as well. Yay! But that the two was the part of the club you make our way home. Oh wait, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Say oi, not so key. Say oi, and of course Monica. 
I will be happy spending every day at the school in Wizard Club. Perhaps the whole heaven seems to get close to one of these girls. Alright. Just need to make the most of the, my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yeah, I guess that starts with writing the poem tonight. 